Hi, with this scale what we're going to do is we're going to do some range of motion. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do range of motion on the entire body. Um, I know that uh, if you're looking at your Prometric package it breaks it down and you need to know what joint to do and what arm to do and what side to do. But I'm just going to do the whole one side so it'll help you when you practice this at home. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name is Pam. I'm going to be your Cena today. Um, how about some exercises? How does that sound? All right, so that's wonderful. Let me wash my hands, and I will be right there. Wash your hands. Let's go ahead and do some privacy curtain pulling. How was your night, Mrs. Smith? Good to hear it. What we're going to do is we're going to do some range of motion on the, her right side. Now, if you remember in class, to tell their left from their right. If this is your right, it's diagonal to their right. Now, I know some of us turn around and do one of these things. It looks just a little bit more professional. If this is your right, diagonal is the patient's right. So, we're going to go over here and do her right arm. Let's get this out of the way so you guys can see. I'm going to put the bed up again to my level so I'm not bending over. And Mrs. Smith, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with your um, upper arm and we're going to do just do some exercises and then we'll be going down to your leg. I think that's good. Let's get your collet out of the way and I'll give it to you before. Again, just like with any other skill, you can expose the part in which you're working on. So we're just going to expose her upper arm. Mrs. Smith, what we need to do is we're going to do some exercises and I'll help you through this since we're doing passive exercises. Here we go. We're going to go straight up, all the way up that you can, checking for their face to make sure there's no grimacing or any causing any pain. All right. And this is your first exercise that you are going to do three of these. So there's number two and there's number three. The next one that has to do with the shoulder is abduct and adduct. And we're going to do that three times. Two and three. Okay? The last one for the shoulder is we're going to do rotation. You're going to change your hands a little bit. I'm still holding on that shoulder so I can feel. So we're just going to make some circles three times. Okay? Try to keep this elbow straight though. So those are the three for the shoulder. Next we're going to the elbow. And there's only one exercise. I'm supporting the joint below and above. And it's just the flex and extend. And I'm doing that three times. Okay? That's the only one for the elbow. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the wrist. For the wrist, you have two. Okay? First one is the wave. Flex and extend. And we're going to do that three times. There's two. And there's three. The next one, what we're going to do is just rotation and two and three. Now, I'm going to show you the hand, but what you're going to be responsible for is just basically the upper joints. So I want you to remember three, one, two. And I'll show you the hand, all right? But if you look at your silver packet, um, it does not include that. So your hand basically is common, open and close. It's important for you to read your care plans to make sure what needs to be done and what does not. And with the hand, you also include the fingers, and you do that three times. And then last but not least, you do the thumb to the finger. Okay? But again, I want to concentrate on the shoulder. There's three. You've got this one, this one, and this one. Those are your three. Elbow is just the one. And wrist is the wave and the rotation. Okay, now let's go and concentrate on the hip. How are you feeling, Mrs. Smith? All right, we're going to go down to the lower leg. And I'm just going to expose just the leg in which I'm working on. Now, if you remember the exercise I did for the shoulder, it's essentially no different for 
the lower extremity. The hip itself is the up and down, just like the shoulder. Watching your face for grimacing or any complaints of pain. How is that feeling, Mrs. Smith? Does that cause you discomfort? All right, so there's your three. The next one is the abduction and the adduction, just like the shoulder. Three times. Two and three. Now we're going to go to, notice how my hands are moving. I'm going to support the leg this way and up underneath the thigh. And I'm going to do some rotation. Two and three. That's it. Just like the shoulder, the hip is three. Next we're going to the knee. Just like the elbow, we have one. So we're going to support the knee. And we're going to do the knee three times. Two and three. That's it for the knee. Ankle. Ankle, we're going to do like a wave, almost like with our wrist, three times. And then we're going to try to do the rotation three times. Sounds similar to that upper arm? Three, one, two. Of course we have the toes, but again, read your care plan to tell you what joint you're going to do and what side. It's important. So, shoulder and hip, three. Elbow and knee, there's only one. And then you have the wrist and the ankle, and then there's two. Okay? Cover them back up when you're finished. Mrs. Smith, how you feeling? Here's your call light. Let's put your bed down. I can't overemphasize the importance of if your care plan um, asks you to just do an elbow, you just do an elbow. If it asks you to do a knee and an ankle, then do a knee and ankle. Just follow the instructions that you're provided. Okay? So here we go. All right, let's open up that privacy curtain. Your call light's just on the right of you. Can I get you anything? Would you like the head of the bed up? Would you like a drink of water? Good, I'm glad you're all set. Call me if you need me. Like any skill, we wash your hands, and I'm done. Thanks.